Hello and welcome to another video where I show you the Neural Amp Modeler and some awesome tones by Loudstack. So little disclaimer here, the Guilherme Miranda tones were provided to me by Loudstack and I didn't have to pay for it and I can keep the tones. Uh, however, each and every word is my own. Uh, Loudstack had no input on this review and they don't have to say a word about it. They don't even see it before release. So if you're a regular viewer of the interwebs, you might have found out about the Neural Amp Modeler. It's basically a free plugin that lets you use NAM files and those files are basically captures of amps. They, you can capture the amps yourself and you can upload them and then you can download them and you can load it into this plugin and then you basically have the amp with the exact same setting, kind of like a Kemper profile, only uh, as a plugin format. You can also load impulse responses here. So first of all, let's have a look at the plugin itself. It's rather clean. We have um, the interface, we have an input gain, we have an output gain, we have a gate function, and then we have a basic EQ where we can tweak the signal and you can actually uh, activate or deactivate both the gate and the EQ, and then we have a normalize function. Now here we have the fun stuff. Uh, on the above, we can select a NAM amp. As you can see, I've downloaded a few amps here. And on this part, you can select an IR and I've selected the greasy beard right now. And then you're basically good to go. So. So first of all, select an amp that I actually used some time. Uh, I think I used this amp here together with the Greasy Beard. And yeah, you have an awesome sound for free, except the price I paid for the IR. Um, downside here is that you don't have the real uh, amp EQ. So for instance, uh, this, this EQ will behave always the same. Again, as in the camper. And if you wanted to have different EQ settings of your amps, you basically have to do different profiles for each and every setting. Okay, so introducing Loudstack a rather young company and they paired up with Guilherme Miranda. He's the guitar player in Dieth and he was the guitar player in Entombed AD. And they put out a amp pack with a couple of different amps and IRs. So first of all, let's have a look at the different amps. We basically get a couple of different captures, all called by fancy names. And I'm showing you now what uh, the actual names mean. So the Death and Roll is a Splorn amp with the TC Electronic Eye Master. The Leffe is a PV5150 with the Boss HM2. The Nihilisto is again the 5150, this time with the Eye Master. The Sweet Death is a Marshall JCM800 with the HM2. The To Ride and Rot is a Marshall JCM800 with the Eye Master. And the Wolverine is a Splorn Quick Rod with the Boss HM2. And those are actually the most interesting captures because I tried a bunch of different um, chainsaw captures and they all sounded awful. And I hope that those sound good. But we have more. We do have some generic <laughs> high gain tones of the Diablo Thrash 98 JCM 800 with the Moore Green Mile. Interesting. Then we have a couple of different dive rhythm sounds with basically different um, overdrives. 
and basically everything is Marshall JCM 800 or PV5150, Splawn, Quick Rod, and a bunch of different pedals. And we do have some clean and crunch tones. Those were all made with the Splawn Quick Rod. Interestingly, the Stockholm clean tones were also done with the Boss HM2. Not sure how this will work. Together with the Nampax, we also get a bunch of different IRs. Uh, basically, based on four different caps, we have the GB Mars. It's a Marshall 1960 BX 4x12 cap with a Celestion G12M. The Recto is a Recto cap with a Vintage 30. The Tangerine is an orange PPC 4x12 with a Vintage 30. And the Udoom is a Sun Solos 2 2x15 with a JBL D140F. Well, okay. So on the homepage from Loudstack, you actually get a couple of different suggestions how to combine uh, NAM profiles and IRs to get specific tones. However, where would be the fun if we wouldn't try our own? So, let's start by using, we start with the most obvious. Uh, single chain is actually my guitar into my Rupert Neve DI, that's it. We start with the Sweet Death and we're loading a Marshall cap. Ah, uh, this one. Okay, I haven't heard this sound before, let's try. Lots of bass, so maybe with a different... Let's actually go through the different IRs. Well, we should actually should select different IRs. So it's not my favorite HM2 sound. Um, let's actually find out if we can tweak the sound. Not really. Uh... Okay, let's use a different setting here. Um, Wolverine, maybe.
Okay. Uh, tried and rot. Okay, I still lack gain, at least for my taste. Uh, Try those. Nihilisto, maybe? All very bass heavy sounds and mostly played, at least what sounds to me, into a clean amp. Uh, Nihilisto. And I think the leather. Okay, they uh, actually, uh, there are only subtle differences. Um, let's play some not HM2 sounds. Death and Roll. Nope, again. Uh, okay. Combine this with the Marshall. Okay, this sounds really thrashy. Nice. Uh, go back to the recto. Yeah, I like practice. Um, now the dieth rhythm. Even nicer.
Okay, I think I tried all the different high gain options and well, I have to tell you here that I really like some of the high gain distorted sounds. They sound really, really good and I'm very certain that I could tweak them even further with the right IR. I simply uh, stayed with this IR that um, I found to be very usable. And um, as far as the chainsaw sounds, they do chainsaw, but I think they were, well, um, Guilherme played uh, in Entombed AD and to be very honest here with you, I didn't like the Entombed AD guitar tone they had and this is actually, well, it is the tone they had on the records, at least on my, um, from my memory. Uh, I just simply don't like it to be done this way, but maybe this is the perfect HM2 chainsaw sound for you. Um, for me, I would have preferred if they were, uh, if they would have run the HM2s into basically uh, more distorted amps. However, the amps sound very legit, very, very legit. So one thing more to show you, we have four clean presets. Okay, that's not clean, that's more or less a crunch sound. Okay, this was my kind of review or, well, playthrough to actually through all the different NAMM profiles that come with this pack and to into, through some of those IRs. Uh, if you want to have a huge, versatile, a clean, crunch, high gain sounds with some usable HM2 sounds, you should check out those tones. Again, the Neural Amp Modeler is free and you can basically select all the, uh, you can download lots of additional free stuff, but those amps, those were made by uh, well, professionals and you can hear that they knew what they were doing while dialing it in. Okay, now let me know down in the comment section, uh, do you use Neural Amp Modeler? And if so, what are your favorite uh, amp models and um, do you own the loudstack profiles or what do you think about the loudstack profiles? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to check out the links in the description and you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member. Well, and with this being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my Instagram. May the power protect you and have a nice day.